Hello and welcome to Byron Borrow, where every game's worth playing. And a funny thing happened. I woke up this morning and remembered, oh my god, I review video games as well. Ugh. So, I got this game, uh, Resident Evil 7, and I figure, you know what, let's take a look. Yes, load most recent data. Now, I'm gonna say something right here and now that is going to shock people. Uh, I don't find Resident Evil scary. I know, it's it's uh, amazing, right? Uh, no, even when like it first came out, I never really thought Resident Evil was all that terrifying. I mean, sure, it had a couple of spooky aspects to it. A lot of uh, a lot of it was the body horror and the zombie stuff. But even then, I I just never really fell into fell into the whole. I hesitate to use the word zeitgeist of Resident Evilness, but that's kind of what it is. All my friends were all, oh my god, you gotta play Resident Evil, you gotta play Resident Evil, it's so scary! And then I finally play it, and I'm like, this isn't really that scary. I mean, it it's a few puzzle games wrapped around a George Romero movie, and like a B-grade George Romero movie, and that's saying something. But... We're not going to talk about those. We're going to talk about Resident Evil 7. If it'll load. Oh, goodness. This is all going up unedited, too. I want you to see what I've had to do, what I've had to work with, what I've had to endure. So everybody keeps telling me, oh, this one's so scary, this one's so much scarier, it's better, it's it's Resident Evil back to its core, and I'm like, alright, fine, whatever, but... And for the most part, yeah, it, it is Resident Evil back to its roots. It's survival horror, and that's, that's fine. Can I turn a flashlight on, or... Do I have it on? You have limited inventory, and you have to switch between the various things here, so... I don't know where I'm supposed to be going right now. We're going to try here. Yay, I unlocked it. Is that you? No, oh, no, I got that. Okay. I guess you're coming from out here, then. Um, no? Alright, well, starting with the uh, visuals, as you can see, it looks really, really good. What the hell is this phone? Now it's behind me? Oh, I'm taking herb. Um. Okay, it sounds like it's coming from over there, so it must be back through here. Yep, oh, yep, there it is. I thought it got quieter when I turned around. You did good, Ethan. I did. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, and I uh, lost my hand and apparently had it stapled back together. Ah, uh, nothing but the best for Capcom's finest voice actors. Okay. Let's head this way. Now, <clears throat> as you can see, everything looks dark and spooky, and it's mostly contained in a mansion here, so... Okay. There's clues and stuff, and it's it's the usual good stuff to find in a Resident Evil. So, um, I'm not too nitpicky here. Seriously, why don't I have a light? Flashlight too much to ask? That being said... Well, that is a look of a man who does not want to be where he is. 25th wedding anniversary, yeah. That, that. 
I get the feeling he's an asshole. <laughs> yeah, I get the feeling everybody here's an asshole. Select an item to use. I, I don't have a clue what to use there, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But yeah, game looks great. And that's all I really got to say to this. It's very, very environmentally heavy. It's very, very... Hello? Okay. I don't like the knocking. Is someone referring to me? Oh? Yeah. That. No! No! Uh, yeah, I'm one of them. Show me, show him the wrist thing! This is the first intelligent thing this man has said. What? Outsider? Oh, okay. Um, uh, um, I'd look at him that way too. I wouldn't give him that. <laughs> All right. So that being said, as we can see it, I don't know, stab somebody with it? Eh. Yeah. Well, I guess I get a handgun again later. Now, as you can see, everything's done in the first person perspective, which presents itself well. And. <clears throat> it really controls well. That's. Really all I've got. Okay. I didn't... Oh my god! Oh my god, they killed LeVar Burton! Okay, um... Ow! Ah, damn it! Okay, there we go. Now I've got a gun. There. Ah. Uh, but yeah, it controls well. Ah. For what it controls as. Ah. Ah, damn it. <clears throat> now, not my eye. He pulled out my eye, didn't he? I don't know who you're talking about. So, yeah. it. Despite my uh, appearance in ineptness there, the controls actually are pretty darn good. It's a nice, solid blend of action and stealth. And... Alright. Unfortunately, I don't think there's any real way to... Yeah, there's no real way to skip the cut scenes here, but... Um, yeah, I put it... Ah, oh, God, there he goes again with the head splitting. Okay. Okay. 
Yeah, you, you do that there, buddy. Now, I have no idea who this person is, what's going on, but I will say I am intrigued enough to want to know more. Oh, God. So, that's good. Okay, that is not good, however, so back to the pocket knife. Yeah! Yeah, I'm not sure how, but... Ow! Okay, guard doesn't work that well with a pocket knife versus an axe. Uh... Don't really know what to do here. Besides... You know, just stab him. And stabbing ain't working. So, if your deal was you enjoyed Resident Evil for, uh... Ah! Jeez! It's over, boy! Um... Uh, yeah, sure it is. It's over, right as I, uh, start my car. Oh. There! Let's see it be over now. Pretty sure that would just uh, put him in the middle of it all. Okay. Is is he dead? Ish. I'm guessing not. Yeah, it is. Thanks. Okay, I'm no longer in control, so... Oh, jeez! I'm sure you are. Uh, can I... Okay, I dodged. I dodged. It's all good. We're, we're all fine. Well, I'm all fine here. You... Uh, mm, decidedly aren't. But yeah, controls. Controls are pretty good. Oh, jeez! That happened fast. And... Uh, sir, you, uh... Now look what you done, um... Ah! Okay. Well, my car is gone. And, um... He looks like he should probably be a little more damaged, but... Ah, come on! Uh, I used all my bullets, so I don't know where you got that. And I don't know what he accomplished by doing that. Besides proving to me that he's nigh invincible, which I kind of already established that with the lots and lots of, uh... Lots of stab and shot wounds. Anyway. So, yeah, it's puzzles and uh, working your way through a creepy house scenario again. If that appeals to you, great! Unfortunately, therein lies the crux of everything. While this is legitimately kind of spooky at times, like what you just saw there... It comes and goes in batches. I don't think I'm going to open that up again. Do I not have any healers? Oh, wait, I got some herbs. And... 
Use. Uh, there we go. Uh, I'm pretty irregular right now, but we'll save it for now. But, yeah, by now you should know whether or not this game is for you. Honestly, while I enjoy this game and its style, there's not a lot really here for me to enjoy, because I don't enjoy this brand of scary. And... That really kind of just comes from the beginning of this game, which... Alright, just to get into spoilers a little bit. Shoot me, shoot me. Okay. I don't know if that did any good, but... Destroy a Mr. Everywhere statue. Oh boy, collectibles. Just what I... What the frick was that? I don't have any healers. Okay. Got an antique coin, though. That's good. Who keeps calling? Who are you? You just might be able to pull this off. Um I need you to do, but I can't explain it right now. Uh this is the problem I have with this game. There I'll be in touch. It sets up to where you go and find your girlfriend or wife or whoever. It's kind of ambiguous, and she's been missing for three years. Now all of a sudden you get a message from her saying, Stay away, and what do you do? You go and try and find her. Admirable endeavor, I suppose. But, ah, oh, damn it. Um, doesn't fit the lock. Okay. But, still, there comes a point, eventually, to where you should have immediately looked at the scenario and just said, Nope, I am A, 100% out of here. Ooh, shotgun. Oh, it's one of these. Come on. There you go. Now I've got to go find something that matches a shotgun. <sighs> Ooh, movie time. Um... I, am I doing this right? Um, okay. I have no idea how that works, but... Painting named Sky Hunter depicts a dog looking up and barking. And I have another achievement. Nice try. Unrelated object into a shadow path. Okie dokie. But yeah, it all boils down to the fact that you really, really had the chance to get out of here. Okay. There we go. Now I'm 100%. And no matter what you do, you douse that on your arm. Not real sure why, but whatever. Now, for what it's worth, I do enjoy this style. I, I think it admirable and understand the merits of it. And... 
I understand why people like it. It's just personally not for me. And again, that just stems from the quality of the acting, which it, it's I'm I'm just gonna come out and say this. It's kind of bad. Who are you? That guy was at dinner earlier and just kind of sat there like an a-hole. Maybe it's Daddy's hobby. Okay. But, yeah, there were more than enough chances for this guy to turn back, go get the police or something. Just more than enough opportunity to go away and have a chance. Oh, okay. To not be in this scenario where you lose an arm and reattach it by having some mystical liquid doused over you and can't believe I actually said that, but yeah, that's exactly how that works. At one point, I had my leg cut off, and... The hell? Okay. I had my leg cut off, I immediately grabbed it from the guy, put it back on and doused it in the chemical... More antique coins. All right. Bust you. I don't know if there's any point to that, but I'm going to do it. Shotgun in the other room. Can I lockpick this? Nope. So, yeah, by this point, you should know if this is your cup of tea. Personally, I'm not a big fan, but I have other stuff that I enjoy, too. Okay. Don't really know what that was about. So, yeah, Resident Evil 7, it's, it's Resident Evil. I don't know what else to tell you guys at this point. Either you know what you're in for, or you don't. Honestly, I really wish I could say more about this. For all the hype that it generated, I feel like I should, but I just can't. It's decent, but only sort of just. And even then, it rides the coattails and merits of... Oh, well, that's where this led. Okay. It kind of just rides the merit of its namesake, being a Resident Evil game. Oh, goody. All right. And I got some shotgun shells. And I got another achievement. One lockpick makes you a master of lockpicking. Don't you wish that was how it was with other things? That's all I got for this game, honestly. I, Again, I really wish I had more, but... Unfortunately, I don't. It's gross, it's violent, it's Resident Evil. You'll know it if you like it, just from watching this. While it's unique that it has gone to a new perspective, i.e. being entirely based first person, I don't know. I guess it's just a me thing. Jesus! Jesus! 
Um, can I just shoot this idiot and be done with him? Has she? I don't really care about you and your family. Yeah, whatever, douchebag. <laughs> All right. Oh, now I have a flashlight. Well, that about does it for here, I think. Honestly, I would recommend this as a rental just to check it out if you're interested in Resident Evil. It's a decent introduction to the series. For those who enjoy the series overall, yeah, you're going to get about what you usually get and expect. So, you got that going for you. Go ahead and save. All right. Wait, I just realized. This can't be Resident Evil. I'm not using a typewriter. It's all broken. No! That's it. I'm done. No more. Don't play this game. No one should. I'll be done with it. But, yeah, seriously. It's... It's honestly just fine. If you enjoy this kind of stuff, you'll enjoy this one. If you don't... Well, I would consider it worth checking out. We'll see you back here next time, everybody.